Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the format. In the previous tutorials I already show you how the, you can work with the format in with the Revit, but we used 2022 Revit. Right now as you can see we will use 2023. The only the one thing we have the difference, uh, the you don't need to install any patch to the use, for example, the um, the format uh, with the Revit in one time. So you can already use the Revit without any problem. So what we get uh, new uh, with the new Revit, of course, in the with the new format, I will show you. Let me I will load some of the project. Uh, here's the standard project. You have it uh, for sure. Everyone have this project. And uh, what we have right now, if you will go to the mess and site, you will find here the new thing like 3D sketching. I already talked in my previous tutorials, but I will talk about uh, about it one more time. If you click on it, uh, the Revit will ask you uh, how you can, uh, how you will use the your format with the exactly uh, all the uh, elements what you can see right now, or you wanna select some objects to see it on the format. I will say I wanna launch the format with the visible Revit objects, so it means what I can see right now on my screen. Uh, the Revit will export it to the format and will load the format. So it takes a bit time, it depends your model, sometimes it takes the, take the few seconds, let me wait. Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the format. In the previous tutorials I already show you how the, you can work with the format in with the Revit, but we used 2022 Revit. Right now as you can see we will use 2023. The only the one thing we have the difference, uh, the you don't need to install any patch to the use, for example, the, um, the format uh, with the Revit in one time. So you can already use the Revit without any problem. So what we get uh, new uh, with the new Revit, of course, in the with the new format, I will show you. Let me I will load some of the project. Uh, here's the standard project. You have it uh, for sure. Everyone have this project. And uh, what we have right now, if you will go to the mess and site, you will find here the new thing like 3D sketching. I already talked in my previous tutorials, but I will talk about uh, about it one more time. If you click on it, uh, the Revit will ask you uh, how you can, uh, how you will use the, your format with the exactly uh, all the uh, elements what you can see right now, or you wanna select some objects to see it on the format. I will say I wanna launch the format with the visible Revit objects, so it means what I can see right now on my screen. Uh, the Revit will export it to the format and will load the format. So it takes a bit time, it depends your model, sometimes it takes the, take the few seconds, let me wait. Uh, let me will do it here. I will create the line. Let me will create here the line, for example. Uh, here will be line, like this. And one more I will create, uh, not line, I will create the arc. Here, here. And it's sometimes it's really hard. Because I need like this. Create. Okay, here. As you can see, we get three lines. One, two, three. So we can create now loft. Let me go to the uh, creating the loft. I will select one object. I will select enter. I will select another object. I will select I will select another object and enter. And as you can see, we're creating the loft. We can continue to creating the loft. Uh, let me I will do it one more time. I will use this one, enter, and this one, enter. And we're creating something strange things like this. Anyway, let's try transfer to the Revit, and it's here. As you can see, we can develop uh, with our idea between the program where you can create uh, your develop idea really easy, I mean, in format, because this is a modeling uh, like place where you can, you can place for example, the box, you can extrude it like that. Uh, after that, you can, I don't know, the draw here, the arc, for example. You're not spending the time to the thinking how you can, uh, for example, place the working uh, working space to extrude something. You're just doing it in info you clicks. You know it because uh, I, I think so, um, uh, I think the 
almost the people who working in the architecture using the SketchUp and the format is pretty similar to the SketchUp. And as you can see, we're creating something strange. Uh, and again, the click transfer to the Revit and we get the objects here. And this is what I really like. And you spending a few seconds, you're getting the result. But let's do one more interesting thing. I will go, for example, to the architecture template. Uh, where is the architecture template? And uh, here we are. We are now on the plan. Uh, I will go again to the missing site. And as you can see, it's not able to the sketch because you can sketch only in 3D view. Okay, this is not a big problem. Let's go to the 3D view and click the sketch in the format. Yes, I want to use the current view as the reference. Uh, we don't have any object here, only the levels. Uh, and uh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, levels also exporting to the uh, to the format. If you will go here to the levels, you will see your levels too. Um, it just in case. Uh, so now let's go to the module. I have here the module 3D context creator. If you don't have it, go here and you just apply it. It's from the uh, Matter Lab. You will find it. Um, all the nodes here. It's free. Just click which you want, and you will get it on the right position here. So. And why we need it? Yeah, for example, I will make like that. I will say create. So we get will, like 25 seconds and we get area where exactly uh, our location is. Uh, how you can understand where is your location? Go to the design tools, so click location and you will see your location. Of course, you can change it. As, as you can see right now, it's Moscow. So it doesn't matter which location you will use. So it will export it from the... Uh, as I understand from the open, open street map. Okay, we get the some context uh, like our city. Now we can click just simply click to the send to the Revit. Uh, he need the middle file. I saw the as I said before, this is file between uh, exporting from the one program to the another program. Uh, just sell it, save it as you want. I just resaving. I'm not creating uh, every time the new one. And here is we are in Revit, as you can see, we get the model. Uh, and we're always able to change it. So it's, it's the biggest thing what I like, because if you will go back to the format, where is the my format? If, for example, you will change this building, I don't know, maybe you understand it. So I, I don't know, we need to change the height of this building. Maybe it's not right from the open, open street map. Uh, let me will save it uh, and I will send it again to the Revit. Oh, where is the Revit? Revit is here and the building now is much higher than it's before. Uh, as you can see, I just painted the few seconds to get this idea. So maybe you will start your design idea from this context around your building. Who knows? But you should try it. It's only the one main function what I want to show you today because I think this is function have really great, great possibilities. Uh, if you want to know want to know about the format more, not only how to use, for example, like between Revit and between uh, format, let me know below the comments and I will go more deeper because as I said before, uh, the format also have the Dynamo and it can be so useful right now when the Revit and uh, format, it's like a one program. So for today it's finished. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.